kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and today I have a great video for you guys. I have gone into the lab and I've taken all this good information and I've jumbled together the greatest NFL player that has ever stepped foot in a football field. Yeah, that's right. He's not just a good quarterback. He's not just a good receiver. He's not just a good offensive lineman. He's not just a good cornerback. He's not just a good linebacker. He is the greatest athlete to ever walk the face of the earth. And he is going to be the subject of our video today. I cannot wait to show you guys. Let's get into it. Hit that like button if you're excited. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. And let's get started. Here we have our subject of the video. His name is All Time Great because that is the expectations that he has on his shoulders. I mean, look at this man. He's six foot seven, 240 pounds, 20 years old, went to Princeton College, so he's got the knowledge. He's the smart dude, and he's got 99s across the board. He can play quarterback. He can play running back. He can play wide receiver. He can play offensive line. He can play defensive line. He can play safety. He can literally play every single position. He is the most versatile person that has ever played football and that will ever play football. And we are going to follow his career and see just how good he can be. How many records can he break? How many Super Bowls can he win? How many awards will he win? I don't know, but we're about to find out. And not only is he going to be a quarterback for his career, once he, we feel like we're confident in his abilities at quarterback, the amount of awards he's won, whatever, yada, 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 all that stuff, we will then move him to another position and see how good he can be at that position, how many awards he can win there, and we'll move him and so on and so on until he retires. That is the concept of today's video. I hope you guys go on to enjoy it, but this man is the, he's the perfect specimen. He's got all the good um, traits. He's got great X-Factor abilities. He's a franchise quarterback. He's built like a tank. He's, he's the ideal person and he's from the Isle of Samoa, even though he did go to Princeton College. But he's got all the ideal qualities you would want in a quarterback or in a, in a, in a player, in a human. He's smart. He's handsome. He's talented. He's athletic. I mean, he's the ideal human being. So we are going to be seeing how good of a career he can have. And he will start his career as quarterback. But that doesn't mean he will end his career as quarterback. Let's simulate his first year and see just how good he does. We've made it to the playoffs of our all-time greats rookie season. We went 12-5 and and dominated the division. Nobody was really even close to us. Let's take a look at these numbers for all-time great. Let's see just how great he was in this first season he has 4,000 yards 33 touchdowns eight interceptions okay so not the passing numbers i would expect from a from a 99 across the board but hey that's just the playbook that we are in here in san francisco it doesn't really lend itself to those huge passing numbers maybe if we were in like tampa's playbook or something or dallas's playbook we probably would have a little bit more on the yards and that could be something we change and we adjust to kind of inflate the numbers of all time great to try to get him to the greatest of all time which is what he's trying to be on the ground did he have anything here he did he rushed for 124 attempts 791 yards and four touchdowns that's what i like to see that is what i like to see christian mccaffrey also had a pretty good year receiving we had a couple thousand yard guys george kittle didn't really get involved too much and then defensively we had some big tackles from greenlaw and fred warner 
sack leaders. We had 16 from Bosa. And then we had interceptions. Fred Warner had four. Okay, so I would hope that all-time great is going to win rookie of the year. I don't think he's going to win best quarterback or MVP or anything, but we still got a few seasons for him to be the quarterback to win uh, MVP and win all that kind of stuff, offense player of the year and all that stuff. So let's see if he can win a Super Bowl, though. That's one thing that we got to check off the list. He's got to win at least one Super Bowl if he wants to be an all-time great. If he wants to be the all-time great. They do beat the Panthers. But now we're playing the Chicago Bears. Duh, Bears. In the divisional round can we beat the bears we are at home levi stadium let's beat the bears and go to the nfc title game in the rookie season of all-time great we do pretty heavily as well 38 17 we're taking on jalen hurts and the eagles this is going to be a big time game this is a huge matchup eagles are very good they went 11 and 6 so they're just around what we did, but I think we match up pretty well against them, especially we have the the player that tips the scale in our favor, tips, with all-time great, and we lose 38-21, so the Eagles will go to the Super Bowl to play the Jaguars. I guess I should have put all-time great in the AFC. That might have been a little bit of an easier path. So he gets to the NFC title game, but cannot win it. He's probably going to be a pro bowler. I would assume he is a pro bowler. He's a pro bowler. Let's see if he is. He is, yes, he's the second. So Dak actually beat him out for the starting Pro Bowl spot, but he is a Pro Bowler, so that's at least something for his resume so far. And hopefully it's a Rookie of the Year as well. We'll move to the offseason to see if he does win Rookie of the Year, and then we will simulate to the start of year number two. And we'll, I'll give it like two to three seasons of the 49ers playbook will kind of get a little base for his stats in the 49ers playbook and then if we need to we can simulate to uh another season we can change to maybe the tampa playbook or something that allows for a little bit more passing just to try to inflate his numbers to get him to where we want him to be which is uh the best quarterback or the best player of all time so if we upgrade a few players here just really quickly some of the practice squad guys. And let's see officially, the Eagles won the Super Bowl, so we lost to the eventual Super Bowl champions. But let's see officially if he won Rookie of the Year. Come on, give it to all-time great. He does! Wait, no. Yes, he does. Okay, I, I thought I read it wrong. He does win Offensive Rookie of the Year. All-time great is the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Perfect. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's something he needed. It's not going to matter in terms of, like, boosting up his overalls or anything because he's, he's perfect everywhere else. But he does add a Pro Bowl and a Rookie of the Year to his resume in his first season. That's awesome. Now we just need to progress him forward and move him to the MVP tier, to the get him to conference championships and win those, and then obviously win some Super Bowls before we can think to move him from being the quarterback, from being a quarterback. So I will see you guys at the start of year number two. And I just want to let you know, I'm not controlling the 49ers. They're all on automation, so they can sign whoever they want. They can re-sign, trade, do whatever. I don't control the 49ers. I only am here to spectate all-time great. So I'm going to simulate to year number two, and we're going to find out how good he can be in his second season. We've made it to year number two for all-time great. As you can see, the offensive line for the 49ers is not that good. But that doesn't matter as long as you've got this man right here. He's an absolute stud. Also, he's a lefty. I didn't even mention that. He is a lefty quarterback, but he's still 99s across the board. He is the defending rookie of the year. He is a pro bowler, and we're looking for him to take that next step and carry this 49ers team to a Super Bowl. We got to the NFC title game last year. It's going to be a little bit di more difficult now this season with the offensive line not being as great and the defense doesn't look that great either. But the numbers on paper still look pretty good, so maybe that can just kind of catapult us to the Super Bowl. I don't know. It's going to be tough. We do have to play the team that beat us in the division in the uh, championship game last season, the Eagles, in the first game of the year. But this is year 2 for all-time great. Let's go to the end of the season and see just how great his second season was. Here we are at the postseason for year number two for all-time great, and not only were we better than what we were last year, we were the one seed, and we went 15-2. All-time great must have had an all-time season. 
if he is given us a 15 and 2 record because this team around him didn't look that great. His actually his passing numbers actually went down a little bit. His touchdowns and interceptions went were better. They're better than last year, but his his yards through the air went down a little bit. So I think we might be changing the playbook for from Mr. All-Time Great at least offensively because this is a this is a video about him. I want him to have his best yards as possible. So 3900 yards, 38 touchdowns to 5 interceptions for all-time great. He also almost had 1,000 rushing yards as well and 10 touchdowns. McCaffrey had a good season too. Debo had a good season, so did Brandon Ayuk. Defensively, how good of a season. We have Fred Warner and Greenlaw back over 100 tackles again. Nick Bosa had a good season with sacks, 22 and a half for him. That's a huge season for, for Nick Bosa. Fred Warner goes from four interceptions the first season to six interceptions this year. I don't think, unfortunately... All-time great's going to be winning any awards this year. He'll probably be a Pro Bowler again if he uh, doesn't end up being in the Super Bowl. But I really want to be in the Super Bowl. That's the goal. We got to get him to be as successful as possible. So winning a Super Bowl and winning multiple Super Bowls is the end goal. And it looks like we do beat the Giants in the divisional. So we will play the Packers in the NFC Championship. Last year we played the Eagles and lost. This year we play Green Bay. I don't even know who the quarterback, Jordan Love, the quarterback of the Packers, getting them to the NFC title game, I guess. Whatever, good for them. At least we don't have to play the Eagles. I think we have a, we fare a little bit better against the Packers. Can we do it? Please, oh please. Yes, sir. We are in the Super Bowl in year number two. This could be all-time great's chance. We are going up against the Jaguars, who were in it last year against the Eagles. They lost, but will they get some revenge? Will they get their revenge and redeem themselves from their loss last year in the Super Bowl? Maybe we should go to the Jacksonville playbook. I mean, that's two years in a row where they've been in the Super Bowl. But can we make it two years in a row where they lose the Super Bowl? I hope so. First time in the Super Bowl for all-time great in his second season. We're looking real good in terms of like our players' overalls. The morale is up because we're winning and we're playing in in a Super Bowl. So here we go. Jaguars and 49ers. They went 11 and 6, so we are clearly the better team on paper. Can we do it? Come on. Come on all-time great. You can do it. Win your first Super Bowl. Please, oh please. Yes, he did. 35-24 and all-time great has won Super Bowl on his resume. That's awesome. We are so so on track to be the best of all time. That is amazing. I can't believe we actually did it. And year number two as well. So now, all-time great on his resume has a Pro Bowl, has a Rookie of the Year, has an MVP of the league. Those numbers did not look like MVP numbers, but whatever. I'll take it. So he has a Pro Bowl. He has an MVP. He has two of NFC Championship appearances, one NFC Championship win, and he has a Super Bowl and a Super Bowl MVP. Oh, we are so on track. So on track to be to be the all-time great. Now, obviously, we have to keep that up for an extended period of time. We have to win a bunch more awards and a bunch more Super Bowls. But at least for right now, he is on track to be, like, right up there in the conversation. I didn't think those were MVP type of numbers, but I guess the rest of the league must not have done much to, to warrant giving it to somebody else. But we are now right there at the MVP. He's the defending MVP. He's the defending Super Bowl champion MVP. We're going to go to the start of year number three and just see how good his career can end up. We're not going to change the playbook now that we've won a Super Bowl and an MVP of the league. I'm going to let it ride for a few more seasons with him at quarterback, and we're going to just see how good he is. But I will see you guys at the start of year number three. We've made it to the start of year number three, and here he is, the defending Super Bowl MVP quarterback, all-time great. Still 99s across the board, as you would expect. He's got all the good stuff you would want. He's got the brains. He's got the brawn. He's an award winner. He's a franchise quarterback. He's the defending MVP. He just won a Super Bowl. I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. And remember, I don't control anything here. So I'm just a spectator. So let's take a look at his contract. He's got four years on his contract. He could go wherever he wants 
when that contract is up unless the 49ers want to re-sign him so i'm not controlling where he goes in his career he could stay with the 49ers for his entire career or he could move around i don't really care where he goes as long as he's on winning teams and can win a super bowl but the offensive line looks really bad for this 49ers team we still got debo we don't have brandon Ayuk anymore we have george kittle still i'm assuming he's going to be here till he retires fred warner is still around nick bosa is injured yeah injured i thought i turned injuries off but whatever this team doesn't look that great but I didn't think the team looked that great last year and we won a Super Bowl. So we'll see what happens. I guess if you have an all-time great at quarterback, anything is possible. Let's simulate to the end of year number three and see if we can defend our crown. We've made it to the end of year number three. And we make the playoffs for the third straight year. But I think it's finally starting to catch up to, to all-time great not having a lot of help around him. We finished 10 and 7 for the first time, don't win the division, and are playing the division winner, the LA Rams, in the first round of the playoffs, the wild card. I don't know if all time great can get this done. He is pretty great, but he just doesn't have a lot of help with him. And sometimes you need that. We do beat the LA Rams, though, and we will play in the divisional. It would be fantastic if. All-time great can play in three straight NFC title games. He's one and one so far in those games. It would be fantastic if he could get another one. We did have a breakout player scenario for uh, Drake Jackson. He did it. That's that's awesome. He's now star development. Good for Drake Jackson, man. That'll help us out. <laughs> Having another star development player on the team is always good. But can we beat the boys? The Cowboys in the divisional. This is going to be tough. I don't see this happening, but you got to have faith. Can the can the greatest quarterback of all time do it? They did. 35-21, and we are taking on the Detroit Lions in the NFC title game. Three years. Three years of all-time great as the 49ers quarterback, and they've been in the NFC title game all three years. That is pretty darn great, if you ask me. But can they go back-to-back? Super Bowl champions, or at least Super Bowl appearances, defend their crown. Can they do it? They do it! We're taking on the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. I cannot believe that this team is even where they are. That is two NFC titles for all-time great to add to the resume, along with the Rookie of the Year, an MVP, a Super Bowl, a Pro Bowl, and a Super Bowl MVP. Unreal, and I know we haven't taken a look at the stats yet. We'll take a look at before we play the Chiefs. I, this team is not that good, and we are. It's just being carried by the broad shoulders of all-time great. How we are even in this spot, taking on another ten and seven team, and possibly the next quarterback to be considered the greatest quarterback of all time, going up against Patrick Mahomes. This is a this is a matchup of the ages. This is the greatest quarterback of this generation versus the greatest quarterback of the next generation. Let's take a look at the stats. So his passing numbers continue to decrease. He was over 4000 in his rookie year. Then he was 390 or 3900 in his second season. Now he's 3700 in his third season with 35 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. His touchdown to interception ratio is staying pretty consistent and it's very good. His passing yards are just continuing to go down a little bit, which is a little bit concerning because he's never going to get to the top echelon of passing yards as a quarterback if he continues to have these 3,700-yard seasons. McCaffrey has another good year. All-time great rushing is doing very well. His, his uh, touchdown numbers aren't doing great. Donnie Gray was the leading receiver for us, and we're in the Super Bowl. That is a, uh, a statement from all-time great. To have that guy as your leader in receiving yards and still be in the Super Bowl, that is a big statement. We still have Nick Bosa. He's got 15 and a half sacks. Fred Warner is having another good season, as he usually does. He continues to lead us in interceptions, too. So we are ready to go. <sighs> three seasons, three NFC title appearances, two Super Bowls. Can we win it back to back for all time great? This will do wonders for his resume if we could win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Come on, beat the Chiefs. I know the Chiefs are a hard team to beat. Come on, all-time great. No, we lost by a point. Oh, we were so close. We lost by a single point. It must have been a field goal or something. 
that the Chiefs hit to win the game. That is upsetting, man. So close to winning a second Super Bowl for for all time, man. Oh, that is upsetting. We didn't win any awards. Josh Allen won the MVP. Lost by a point to the Kansas City Chiefs. That is, that's rough. That's a rough one. But now we go to season number four. And I think this will be the final season with all-time great as the quarterback. And then we will move him to a different position and kind of get a few seasons with him there. And we can always move him back to quarterback later in his career. But I kind of want to get him some reps at a different position to kind of even more boost his all-time status. But if we take a look at the legacy leaderboard four years in or three years in, I should say, if we take a look at the legacy leaderboard, all-time great as a quarterback is right up there already. He is eighth all-time in quarterbacks. He's got two NFC titles. He's got four awards, one Super Bowl. I mean, this kid is is already top 10 and quarterbacks, and he's three years in. So maybe this next season, he can boost himself to maybe top five. That would be awesome. If he could get to top five all-time, he would need probably another NFC title, a couple more awards, and... Uh, I don't know, like another Super Bowl I would I would really appreciate, but it's going to be tough. He really needed this one this season against the Chiefs, but he couldn't get it. His, uh, his awards, so he's got one Pro Bowl, but that's just because he's been in the Super Bowl the next couple of years. He's got Offensive Player of the Weeks. He's led the league in passer rating. He was the Rookie of the Year. He was the most valuable player and the best quarterback. And he's obviously got a Super Bowl and a couple NFC titles under his belt too. So he's right up there at quarterbacks. He is one of the best. So one more season at quarterback. Maybe even two. Maybe we'll give him five seasons at quarterback just to see how he does. And then we'll move into another position. But let's go to year number four and hope that this team can build themselves up enough to get back to the Super Bowl. We are here for year, the start of year number four. We've somehow brought in Jalen Waddle, which is awesome. Gives all-time great another weapon. We still have uh, George Kittle, Samuel, and Odell Beckham Jr. along with Christian McCaffrey. So he's got he's got weapons, and now he adds in one of the best of all time, one, one of the best of the modern time with Jalen Waddle in terms of speed and just pure awesomeness at receiver. I'm excited to see what he can do here. And then on defense, we brought in J.C. Horn. Cool, I guess. Awesome. We still have... Uh, we have Quadra Diggs as well. We still have Warner and, and Bosa, which is awesome. And it looks like Drake Jackson kept his star development, so that's cool too. But this is really all about all-time great. He's been to the promised land. He knows what it takes. The team did a little bit of work. They spent a little bit of money to bring some guys in. That's what you want to see. Can we get the job done and win a second Super Bowl and catapult all-time great to the top five all-time quarterbacks? That would be the ideal situation. Let's see what happens. I will see you guys at the end of the season. We've made it to the end of year four. We are in the playoffs again, four straight seasons with all-time great as the quarterback, and we've made the playoffs every single year. We actually went 13-4 and four and won the division, so I'd say we were, and we were the one seed, so I'd say we were right back on track with how this team should be playing and how all-time great should be playing. How good were his numbers this year? Okay, so the yards were back up. That's a good sign. He had 37 last year. Now he's got 39 again, but the touchdowns went down a lot. He had, what, like 35, 38 last year or something like that in the high 30s. Now he's got 28 and 7. So the touchdowns went down, but his rushing keeps playing very well. 1,300 yards, 20 touchdowns for Christian McCaffrey on the ground is insane. Uh, receiving, Debo had a good year. Kittle had a good year. Waddle had an okay year. Defensively, uh, Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner continue to be studs in terms of tackling. It looks like J.C. Horn played pretty well. Nick Bosa continues to have another great career with uh, 21 sacks this season. Fred Warner keeps getting a lot of interceptions. He might be uh, a problem in terms of like all-time interceptions because he's getting a ton of them. But another season where we are the favorites, 
Let's beat the Cowboys and go to our fourth consecutive NFC title game. I really want to go. I really, really, really want to go. And we are 37-31. We will take on Washington in the NFC Championship. If I could add another NFC title game win to all-time greats resume, that would catapult you that would catapult him you'd have to think into the top five let's see if he can do it can we beat washington and go to a third super bowl yes we can we're taking on the t uh, the denver broncos we beat the commanders 31 21 drake jackson's becoming a real stud on that defensive line he's an 85 now but we are playing in our third straight super bowl we are one and one so that's a third NFC championship to the resume. I really hope that this is the second Super Bowl. Because if he wins two Super Bowls as the quarterback with the resume that he already has, he's got an MVP. I really think that this could catapult him into the top five, maybe even the top three, if he wins a second Super Bowl as a quarterback. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. I think that this could happen here. Let's win the Super Bowl. Come on, all-time great. I know you got it. You are the greatest player of all time. Please, please get the job done here. Come on. Beat the Broncos. They only had 10 wins. You can do it. Yes! A second Super Bowl win for all-time great. I'm really hoping that it's a second MVP as well. A second Super Bowl MVP. But that's huge. Two Super Bowls in four seasons. Four straight NFC Championship games. Won three of them. Please tell me he was the MVP of the, of the Super Bowl as well. He didn't win any other awards. Josh Allen goes back-to-back -back as the MVP of the league. But that is absolutely massive. A second Super Bowl to add to the resume. A two-time MVP of the, of the Super Bowl as well. That is huge. Absa, absa, absolutely huge. We'll give him one more season. I am going to change the playbook since we've won two Super Bowls now. I am going to change the playbook to Tampa Bay's playbook so that we can air out and try to get as many touchdowns, as many yards as possible for him for his what could be his final season as a quarterback. But let's take a look at the legacy leaderboard. <sighs> Come on. Put him in the top five. I know you want to. Put him in the top five please please oh please oh please he is sixth he's so close he's got two super bowls he's got three nfc titles five yearly awards nine thousand legacy score he is really close to getting up to around these guys but josh allen just keeps winning mvps so that keeps uh, catapulting him ahead but he could pass joe burrow if he wins another super bowl this year he could really do it, but he is in the top six now. He was eighth. Now he's sixth in quarterbacks. And he's still pretty young. He is still pretty young. I need to take a look at his contract. I think he should he should still be under contract with San Francisco for a few more seasons. But I just want to check and make sure, see what he's he's working with here. So if we go to his stats and his contract, he is 24 years old now. What is his contract looking like? He's got two seasons left on his current deal with the 49ers. So we'll, I wonder if they'll re-sign him. I don't know. It'll be very interesting to see. But I am going to change the playbook to the probably Tampa Bay offensive playbook so that we can get as many yards as possible because I feel like, although maybe we go Buffalo because Buffalo... Josh Allen's going back-to-back -back super or back-to-back -back MVPs, so maybe we go Buffalo's offensive playbook, and maybe that could get him an, another MVP. That could be really cool. So we'll try Buffalo's playbook, and we'll see how it goes. I will see you guys at the start of year number five, the final season, at least for right now, for him being a quarterback. Starting year number five, the final, what could be the final season for all-time great as the quarterback. We still got Christian McCaffrey on the team Jalen Waddle still here Debo Samuel and DK Metcalf is now here he is injured for a week but he is here as a receiver so that's awesome the offensive line's kind of mid George Kittle's still here uh Drake Jackson still has start development JC Horn's an x-factor Lewis Seen is now here Bosa and Warner are still here 
uh, Hufanga is a start development player, so the team looks about the same as they have been, and that's good enough to win us two Super Bowls in four seasons. Let's see what year number five holds. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We make it to the playoffs of year number five, and we made the playoffs as a wild card team, the division winners. We went eight and nine, so our worst season as a team, but it looks like all time great had his best season as a quarterback individually. That Buffalo playbook really helped us in terms of uh, his numbers. I mean, look at these numbers. He went from like 3,700, 3,900 to 5,700, 46 touchdowns to just nine interceptions. That might have just got him his second MVP. That's a huge day for him. And then rushing, he didn't have as many rushing yards because he's not in the 49er playbook, but he still had a good amount with seven touchdowns as well. Receiving-wise, we had four guys over 1,000 yards, all four of the guys you would expect. Even Debo had 15 touchdowns. Defensively, how good did uh, how good did Fred Warner do? 132 tackles, very awesome. Sack leaders, let's see, Bosa had 11 and a half. And then interception leaders, we had four from, from Fred Warner. Good, I mean, Fred Warner is amazing, man. He is just getting all the craziness with the interceptions, but maybe we sacrificed our team success for individual success with all-time great because we went eight and nine, made the playoffs all five years as all-time great with starting quarterback, but can we get past the Saints? I don't know. This Buffalo playbook might not be very good for us, but it does push us to the divisional against the Washington Commanders, who we've beaten before just last season on our way to the... Was that to the Super Bowl or was that to the NFC title game again? I don't remember. I think it might have been we beat them in the NFC Championship to get to the Super Bowl. Can we beat them in the Divisional to get to the NFC Championship? I don't know. I hope so. No, we can't. We lose by two. So we, we fall just short of a, of, a, of a fifth or a fourth Super Bowl appearance. That's kind of upsetting. But... We got the numbers that we wanted in terms of individual success with all-time great. And he probably was the, the Pro Bowl starter. So that's two Pro Bowl appearances. Even though he would have been a Pro Bowler all five years, he just was in the Super Bowl for for three of them. So he, uh, he didn't participate in it. So they didn't count it technically. But it is Chiefs and Giants in the Super Bowl. Maybe I should have went Chiefs playbook. That might have been good for team success and individual success because Patrick Mahomes usually has pretty good individual seasons. But let's see if all-time great won his second Super or second MVP. He's got two Super Bowls. He's got three NFC championships. He's got it, one MVP at least. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Couple Pro Bowls. Couple MVPs of the Super Bowl. Let's see if he adds another regular season MVP to his resume. And he probably won Offensive Player of the Year as well. Uh, he didn't, but he does win MVP. Tutu Atwell actually won Offensive Player of the Year. Good for him. But a second MVP for all-time great. So we did sacrifice team success for individual success. But I think it was worth it in the end because he wins a second MVP. Okay, that, that's pretty good. We're going to simulate this week and get into actual off-season stuff. And then we will... Take a look at the legacy leaderboard and then come back and change his position. I think we're going to put him at defensive lineman. I think we're going to put him at, at a, a right end or left end or something like that. I think that could be pretty fun to see how many sacks he could put up in a single season. Alongside like Nick Bosa or something. That could be pretty good. So let's take a look. He is, and Kyle Shanahan quietly moving up the, the all-time leaderboards. But if we go to quarterbacks... All-time great is now officially fifth all-time in quarterbacks on the legacy leaderboard. Mahomes is, is first now, passing Aaron Rodgers. But all-time great's got two Super Bowl victories, three NFC titles, and eight yearly awards. He's looking very good for his quarterback side of things. Now, if we move him to defensive end, he's still going to be a 99 overall. But I'm hoping that he has a pretty good season as a defensive lineman because remember this isn't just about him being the greatest quarterback of all time this is about him being the greatest football player of all time so he's got to be able to play other positions 
We're going to edit it. I mean, he's, that's why I made him 6'7", 240, so that he could go and play other other positions other than quarterback. So we are going to move him to uh, left end so that he can play alongside Nick Bosa. Hopefully the 49ers have a quarterback replacement. They should still have Purdy and Trey Lance, I would think. Uh, no, they have no quarterback, so that's going to be that's gonna be bad. But uh, Nick Bosa and all-time great are now here. And I'll probably move Bosa to one side. They'll figure it out. Let's actually, let me see if I can generate best lineup. And then maybe it puts, okay, it does put Bosa there. So we'll see how how he does here. And maybe we even move him to D-tackle for a season. I don't know. He's he's not super big, but I mean, Aaron Donald played D-tackle and he's not very big either. So I'll simulate the offseason and we'll catch up at year number six with now all-time great playing on the defense. Year six for all-time great's career. It looks like they signed Kyle Trask to be their quarterback. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter to us. We're not following the 49ers. We are following all-time great, who is going to be paired alongside Nick Bosa. Oh, this defense is going to be so good. This defense is going to be real good. I can't wait to see all-time great dominate. I am going to move the playbook back to 49ers playbook to try to give the team the best advantage possible. I don't think that's going to matter too much with Kyle Trask being the quarterback, but we'll see. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season to see just how good all-time great can be now on the defense. Okay, we make it to the end of year six. We didn't make the playoffs. We're actually the worst team in the division at 5-12, and 12, and that could be chalked up to uh, Kyle Trask being our quarterback. I don't know, probably. But we probably would have been in the playoffs again if all-time great was still the quarterback. But that's okay. Maybe one one season they'll find a quarterback to replace him. But it looks like all-time great is actually a backup right now. He better not have been the backup the entire season. I hope that's not the case. I don't really know. We'll take a look at the stats, though. So we're not going to be winning a Super Bowl this season. No surprises there. But did, did all-time great have a good season? defensively looks like Kyle Trask he had an okay year but it just we just weren't good offensively Christian McCaffrey had a decent season McCaffrey had an okay season but defensively is what we matter here let's see how good all-time great had oh my god he had a fantastic season he had 125 tackles he had 29 tackles for loss he had 39 sacks and no interceptions but that's okay he had 14 and a half sacks for Nick Bosa, but 125 tackles and 39 sacks as a first time defensive player. I mean, are you kidding me? That had to have won defensive player of the year. Had to have. Absolutely had to have won defensive player of the year. So that we could add that to his resume as well. I mean, unreal. He's probably going to win another Pro Bowl or going to win another Pro. He's going to be a part of another Pro Bowl, get another Pro Bowl nod. So that would be, what, like three Pro Bowls, a Defensive Player of the Year, hopefully, two-time MVP. Maybe he even wins MVP with 39 sacks. I mean, 39 sacks is insane. That's an insane number of sacks. I think we're going to move him to D-tackle for year two as a defensive player. And then maybe in year three, we move him to linebacker. That could be something interesting. That way we could boost up his interception totals. Absolutely crazy numbers. 39 sacks is is just wild. Seahawks and the Jets are your Super Bowl matchup. Very interesting. Don't really care who wins this Super Bowl. It's probably actually I do care. Hopefully it's not the Seahawks because they're in our division. So hopefully it's not the Seahawks. And it's not. It is the New York Jets. Good for them. Good for them. Nick Bosa gets a couple upgrades, but he's already pretty much where he's going to be. He doesn't need any more upgrades. But let's take a look at the season recap. Did all-time great win the Defensive Player of the Year? He had to have, and he does. He doesn't win MVP. Josh Allen wins another one. Is that three straight for Josh Allen? It might be. But all-time great does win another Defensive Player or another award. It is Defensive Player of the Year this time. And, I mean, how couldn't he? He was 39 sacks. And 100 plus tackles. You have to win Defensive Player of the Year if you have 39 sacks and 100 plus tackles. It has to be. So now we will go and change him to Defensive Tackle for Year 7. And is this the final year of his contract? Or was this was this past season the final year of his contract? I don't remember. 
he could be done with the 49ers if they don't bring him back. I'm not 100% sure if this is the final year of his contract or not. He might be going into his final year. I hope they get a quarterback, though. We could always move him back to quarterback, though, <laughs> just, just because. But is this is this the final year of all-time greats uh, contract? Let's see. Contract. It is. So he's got one more year as a 49er, possibly. They could re-sign him, and then he's, he's locked up even longer. But who knows? Maybe he moves on from the San, San Francisco 49ers because he's already won two Super Bowls, two MVPs, a Defensive Player of the Year, an Offensive Player of the Year. He's done it all here in San Francisco. Maybe he wants to spread his wings and to go somewhere else. But I will see you guys. Actually, let us uh, I should have done it while I was there. Move him to D-tackle to kind of give the 49ers the best option to sign some new players. They definitely need a quarterback, that is for sure. If they can find just an, a mediocre quarterback, then we can, we can uh, probably be back in the playoffs. If they even find like a, a good 80 overall quarterback or something. Let's move him to defensive tackle for year number seven and we will generate the best lineup so that we can have drake jackson and nick bosa on the edges and confirm that so drake jackson nick bosa and now all-time great at d tackle and we'll probably move him to linebacker at some point maybe even safety at some point i don't know we'll keep moving him around the defense every year and we'll see how that goes but i will see you guys at the start of year number seven with now him at defensive tackle Maybe this can even boost him to MVP caliber. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so we start year number seven. And it looks like we drafted a quarterback. Uh, B. Madison. Is it Billy Madison? <laughs> it's Brian Madison. Okay, rookie from Montana. Hopefully he can be the guy. He's hidden development. I'm hoping he can be the guy to carry this team into the future until we inevitably bring, bring back <laughs> all-time great as a quarterback. But, oh, wait, 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 hold up. All-time great's not here. I just assumed he would be back on the team. But he moved. Where did he go? I gotta find, I gotta find all-time great now. He's gonna be the best player in the league, so it's gonna be easy to find him. But I, I wanna find where he's at. Where did he go? I didn't realize he left. All-time great is now on the LA Rams. Okay. Um, okay, let's go follow the division rival, LA Rams. I'm going to go and take control of them, and then I'll be back. We are now following the LA Rams, and this team doesn't look as good as what we had with the 49ers. They have an okay quarterback. They've still got Cam Akers. The receivers look fine with Romeo Dobbs and Tyquan Thornton, Marvin Mims. I mean, it's not great. The offensive line looks pretty good. On defense, you add all-time great who is injured, by the way, for just a season or for just a week. But for right now, I didn't mean to click on CJ Bronson. But for right now, this defense doesn't look too good. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. You've got a couple star development players. We'll see how it goes against the division. I mean, I can't believe that all-time great would do that. The audacity to go against his current team and join the LA Rams, who are not as good as the, the 49ers in terms of like overall on paper. But we'll find out. We'll simulate the year and see how good all-time great does as the starting defensive tackle. We make it to the end of year number seven, and the Rams did not do that great. 8-9 finish, not making the playoffs. The 49ers won the division at 10-7, so maybe all-time great is kind of regretting his decision. I don't know. I guess we'll see in the long run how good... Uh, this Rams team can do I guess he wanted to bet on himself and go to another team the second year quarterback seemed to have a, a good season but defensively how good was all-time great as a defensive tackle it doesn't look like he was in the top half of tackles which is not surprising but he did have 13 sacks so he only had 44 tackles 12 for loss 13 sacks so maybe Putting him as a defensive tackle was not the best thing to do. He played 16 games. He missed that first game because of an injury. But he did play in all of his games. 
but maybe defensive tackle was not the best move to have him at. I think we'll put him at linebacker for season eight, and we'll see how he does there. That should probably get his tackles back up, and his sacks probably, and even his interceptions would probably come back up. So I will simulate to the next season, and we'll see how he goes as now a linebacker. We are here at the start of year number eight with the LA Rams, number two with the LA Rams, and I've moved him to middle linebacker number one, so hopefully this helps him get a little bit more on the tackle leaderboard, a little bit more sacks. I mean, he does have 39 already in uh, as a pass rusher, and then he had like 13 as a D tackle, but maybe this will also help him with some interceptions and all that kind of stuff, maybe some more forced fumbles, all that kind of good stuff. So we'll see how he can do as a middle linebacker in his second season here in LA. Year number eight is a total. We'll find out. Let's uh, simulate the season. Maybe the Rams can make the playoffs. I don't know. Year eight comes to a close. The Rams did not make the playoffs again, finishing nine and eight. But that's not really what we care about. What we care about is our good old friend, all time great, seeing just how good he was. And it looks like the quarterback for the Rams had a really good year. 5,000 yards, 53 touchdowns is pretty impressive. But defensively, how good was all-time great? Oh, he was fantastic. 142 tackles, only a sack and a half, but that's not a big deal. Seven interceptions as well is just phenomenal. That is, uh, that's what we needed. We needed to have him get those type of numbers again. And that could be a defensive player of the year. Maybe if he would have had another couple more sacks, maybe he certainly would have locked it up. I don't know, but... That's tough to to see if he if he won the defensive player of the year. I don't know if, if that's good enough. I mean, a lot of tackles, a good amount of tackles for loss, nothing crazy, still single digits, a sack and a half, and then adding seven interceptions. He's got a case for defensive player of the year. It could happen. I'm not saying that it wouldn't happen. I didn't think he'd win that first MVP that he won. He certainly didn't have the numbers that I thought deserved to be an MVP, but maybe everybody else in this that season didn't really play that well. So he could certainly be a two-time Defensive Player of the Year this season if if all is uh, going well. And I'm going to keep him at middle linebacker for season number nine, and then for season ten, I'm going to move him to back to defensive lineman to try to boost up his sack numbers even more. Because remember, we're trying to get him like on the all-time list for a lot of different things so if we can move him to if we can move him to like get him a bunch of sacks that'd be awesome too he's already got 39 <laughs> he's already got 39 uh freaking sacks so i'd say that's pretty good plus the sack and a half that he already has here so he's already got over 40 sacks on his uh on his career and plus he when he played d tackle he got a few sacks so he's, he's probably got about 50, 54, maybe, I'd say. I don't know, maybe 55 and a half. He's probably, he's, he's up there with sack numbers with some of the best. Obviously not in the hundreds yet, but he is up there. I even thought about maybe moving him to receiver for a season just to add even more stats, but who knows. Season recap, did he win Defensive Player of the Year? He did not. A defensive tackle for the Steelers won it. So no defensive player of the year for for uh, all-time great. That's okay. I do want to kind of check and see what his legacy leaderboard stats are looking like. We checked. Last time we checked, he was still a quarterback. I haven't checked in a few seasons now that he is on the defense. So he has moved to... Is he still on here at quarterback no okay they, they move him when he's not a quarterback I, I figured that's what it would be but as a middle linebacker he is number one all time as a middle linebacker because they're ta they're tallying all of his his uh, numbers as a uh, as an award winner and a super bowl champion so if he were to be back at quarterback he would be fifth or fourth rogers has 24 8 what does he have he has 24 9 so he would be fourth all time at quarterback if he was still a quarterback which is very interesting very very interesting i don't know how long he's gonna go he's entering year number nine of his career he's approaching 30 he may even be 30 i don't really know how much longer 
he has left in the league. He could retire at any moment. At any moment, he could retire. I am going to get to the point when we get to 10 years. I am going to simulate a big chunk so we don't go year by year. Uh, one, to uh, cut down on the video time because it's already going to be a massive video. But also to uh, kind of speed up his career a little bit. But he is eight years in. He's 28 years old. We're going to go two more seasons of year by year, and then we'll see how he goes from there. But he's going to have one more year as a linebacker this this upcoming season, and then he'll have one final year as a defensive lineman. And then I think for the the next couple of years when we simulate like a big chunk, I'm going to move him back to quarterback or move him to receiver or something like that. I'll move him back around and stuff. But that is, uh, that's the plan. So I'll see you guys at the start of year number nine with him as a middle linebacker again. We've made it to the end of year number nine, and once again, we are not in the playoffs. It seems like the only way we're going to ever have any success as a team is if all-time great is back under center as a QB. Maybe that'll happen. I don't know, but he's still here as a linebacker. His second season as a linebacker, I'm hoping he put up more tackles. I'm hoping he put up more interceptions, maybe even some more sacks. I don't know. We'll have to go find out. I'm hoping that he can even win another defensive player of the year. We might have to wait until he goes back to defensive line next season. But he had 163 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, a sack and a half again, and four interceptions. So next season, he will be back as defensive lineman. And maybe those sack numbers will go back up. I don't know. But that'll be the final year of simulation. That'll be year number 10. Four more interceptions, 163 more tackles. I don't think that's good enough to win any defensive player of the year awards or anything. So that's kind of unfortunate. I don't even know how much longer he has on his current contract. I have no idea what kind of deal the Rams offered him. He's been here for, what, three seasons as a Rams player? So he probably signed a four- or five-year deal, I would guess. So maybe he's got one to two more seasons left. I don't know. And who knows how much longer he's got in his entire career. He could only be playing for two to three more seasons. You never really know. We are only going to simulate one more season as, like, individual year by year. And then we'll simulate a big chunk of it and hopefully get to when he retires. That's going to take a while, though. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of simulation. It is Broncos and Seahawks. So the Broncos have been a very uh, consistent team in this simulation. It was the Chiefs for a little bit. It was the Jaguars for the first two seasons. And the Seahawks have been pretty consistent as well, at least in the recent history, now that we're not a quarterback in the NFC West. Um, so it's been the Broncos, Seahawks, eh, there's been some consistent teams. Season recap, Seahawks won the Super Bowl. They also won the division. How good was his season? Not good enough to win any awards. That's okay. That's okay. Not good enough to win any awards, but he is helping his legacy score go up year by year. But now we will make him a defensive lineman again. And I'm expecting those sack numbers to return. I mean, he had 39 the first year he was put at defensive lineman. So I'm hoping that those can return to around that same level and he can be dominant once again. We might have to move one of those guys to defensive tackle because we have two good pass rushers already. Or maybe we could run a 4-3 instead of a 3-4. I don't know. But we are going to move him to right end back there he's been a d tackle he's been a linebacker he's been a defensive lineman and now he's back to defensive lineman so we will uh, generate the best lineup available and there we go so he's back on the edge and i'm hoping that these this season is his best sack season because we really need it he needs to have he's already gotten his tackles he's gotten over like 200 300 tackles so that's not a worry he's gotten a lot of interceptions we need to get his sack numbers back up. So I'll see you guys at the start. Actually, no, because you, you know what the roster looks like. It's not going to change too much. So unless he changes teams at the start of next season, I'll see you guys at the end of season number 10. We made it to the final season of the year-by-year -year stuff to the end of it. And we actually made the playoffs as a LA Ram. 11-6 won the division and are playing in the wild card game i'm excited to see just how good all-time great did 
as a defensive player because he's had a few seasons as a linebacker. He's had a, a season as a D tackle, but there's not been a better season for him than as when he was a defensive lineman. And it continues to do that 39 and a half sacks for all time great. Oh my God. Oh my God. 95 tackles, which is not bad at all. 19 tackles for loss. No interceptions, which he already had enough interceptions when he was a linebacker. 39 and a half sacks for all time great is unreal. That's gotta be his second defensive player of the year award. It has to be. Has to be his second defensive player of the year award. There's no way that's not another defensive player of the year award for all time great. And would we consider him an all time great 10 seasons deep in his career? He's won a couple of Super Bowls. He's won some MVPs. He's won Offensive Player of the Year. He's won Defensive Player of the Year. He's won Rookie of the Year. He's been a Super Bowl MVP, a Pro Bowler. He's led the league in sacks. He's got the record for sacks. He is, he's got a bunch. His name is littered across the NFL history books. And... Is he the greatest football player of all time? I guess if he contributes to a third Super Bowl championship on his second team as a defensive player this time, instead of a quarterback, that would certainly catapult him to the upper echelon of all-time players. Lawrence Taylor type of players. Uh, obviously, Tom Brady type of players. He doesn't have the rings to compare with Tom Brady. But maybe he uh, could just be a better all-time player than Tom Brady. And we are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who have Jalen Hurts, who funny enough in the Brooklyn Barron series was a Tampa Bay quarterback before we ended up trading for him when we traded Justin Fields to get tr Jalen Hurts. So we traded him to Tampa to get back Jalen Hurts. And we lose to the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the, the NFC title game. So our Cinderella run comes to an end. Could not win another Super Bowl. That's okay. He's got two of them, and he's still got a nice chunk of his career to go. It's not like he's retiring after this season. So he's not done by any means. But I'm hoping that when we simulate this and we check to see his... When we check to see his uh, season recap, hopefully it says Defensive Player of the Year, all-time great, because that's what we need him to do. That's what I'm hoping happens. I really, really hope that he is the best player. Give me Defensive Player of the Year. Give me Defensive Player of the Year. He got it. He doesn't win MVP, which he arguably could have won MVP, but he does win his second Defensive Player of the Year. So he's got an Offensive Player of the Year, two Defensive Players of the Year. I think it's time to take a look at some career stats since we are going to be simulating a good chunk of his career now without uh, taking an in-depth look, I think it's time to take a look at some career stats for all-time great just to see how good he's doing. So if we go to defensive stats, we've got all-time great. I want to go to his, his actual stats because then we can see his offensive numbers as well. So... His all-time stats, if we go to his passing stats, he hasn't been a quarterback for a while, but actually they got rid of his numbers. They got rid of 2023 to 2026. What? Oh, this game's garbage. This game's absolute garbage. Okay, but I mean, look at these numbers. He's gotten 39 sacks, 13 sacks, 39 and a half sacks. These are some very, very good numbers for all-time great. He's also added about 11 interceptions. His career numbers, 94 and a half sacks, 11 interceptions, 569 tackles. I mean, just absolutely amazing numbers from a guy who's can do it all, not just a... He's not just a an offensive guy. And now... We will, I'll give him one more season as a defensive guy. Actually, let's move him back to quarterback. Let's move him back to quarterback and then we'll simulate a good chunk of his career and we'll see 
how many more Super Bowls he can win. Because I feel like he's he's already obviously a Hall of Fame player. But if we move him to quarterback, maybe he can add some more Super Bowls to his resume and be considered the greatest of all time. Because that's really what we're going for. He's 30 years old. He needs to get he needs to try to get as many Super Bowls as possible. So we need to move him back to quarterback and hopefully make him become the greatest player of all time because we know that quarterback is a position that gets weighed a lot heavier than any other position so if he can win a couple more maybe even a couple more mvps or something like that we need to get him to be considered the greatest player of all time i am going to change the playbook to help further that if we can maybe I don't want to give him Buffalo's playbook because even though he had a really good season and won an MVP with Buffalo's playbook, the team kind of suffered a little bit. So if we give him, although we could just keep the LA Ram playbook. You know what? I'm going to keep the LA Ram playbook and maybe he wins a Super Bowl. I don't know. We'll, we'll move on and I will see you guys when he retires. So who knows how long that's going to be, but when all-time great calls it a career, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, so after a long time of simulating, All Time Great has finally called it a career. It says he's on the Denver Broncos, but he is retired. I don't know, it just must be just a visual glitch or something. But he finishes with a 58,400 legacy score, almost surpassing Patrick Mahomes. And he probably would have surpassed him if he would have played another year. That's okay. He technically is one of the gre the greatest, if not the greatest, player of all time. He probably is the greatest because Patrick Mahomes' legacy score is only for quarterbacks. His legacy score also includes a lot of defensive stuff as well. So, all-time great finishes as the greatest player that has ever played NFL football. We can take a look at some NFL records as well just to, to show you how good all-time great was. Passing yards in a career, he doesn't make the top. Okay, I thought he might. Passing touchdowns, he doesn't make it either. Come on, all-time great. You're you're uh, letting me down here. Sacks, does he make the sack list? He doesn't. Defensive interceptions, he does. Okay, so he doesn't make any career list, but he does make a bunch of season numbers. Passing touchdowns. He's not on there, but he could be on defensive sacks. He is. Both of his 39 sack seasons are at the top of the list. And he could be on here. Nope, not on here for, for that. So his career numbers aren't amazing. But he did play a ton of different positions. He played quarterback. He played uh, linebacker. He played very, very good. And I'm going to have to go back to the legacy leaderboard to see his, his uh, stats and stuff. So if we go to this and then we should be able to view the player card all right so he played 17 seasons 37 years old still says he's on the denver broncos but that's okay so in his career passing wise they don't have his numbers from san francisco for some reason because it's very very uh stupid <laughs> but he does finish with some amazing amazing numbers very very good he's got a ton of touchdowns he's got a ton of of great numbers as a uh, as a passer defensively they got rid of all his numbers God, this game sometimes man <laughs> this game sometimes is very very dumb but his awards he was a pro bowl 11 times it would have been a more pro bowls if he didn't make the super bowls he led the league in sacks twice, led the league in passer rating twice, led the lead in tackles once. He was the offensive rookie of the year. He was an MVP at least one time, best quarterback, best defensive lineman, another MVP, best quarterback, defensive player of the year, defensive lineman of the year, two defensive players of the year, another MVP, best quarterback, another MVP, and best quarterback again. So I'd say that this man is the greatest of all time. How many MVPs did he win? He won one, two, three, four, four MVPs, an offensive rookie of the year. He won defensive player of the year three times. He won offensive player of the year once. He was a two-time Super Bowl MVP, 
a two-time Super Bowl champion, I mean, I'd say that that is the career of the greatest of all time. He is certainly an all-time great quarterback, an all-time great player in the NFL. So I know this was a super, super long video, but I think we were successful in creating the greatest player to ever step foot on a football field he could he couldn't he didn't just pass the ball he sacked the quarterback he got interceptions he tackled players he was the quintessential do-it-all player he played both sides of the football and he was the greatest at all of it so all-time great congratulations you are the best that has ever stepped foot on a football field thank you so much for stopping by watching i truly truly appreciate it i know it was a massively long video it was trust me it was long for me too but i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching if you enjoyed hit that like button subscribe to the channel join the juice club if you have any other suggestions for video types like this leave them down below in the comment section i'd be happy to see them and i will catch you guys in the next one peace